Way to Wendell. Sorry to ruin your plans, but that cavern is blocked. Oh, actually. What's this about a fairy letting us through? Whoa! Are you serious? Of all the people. Huh. I guess this explains the light earlier. You can call me Hawkeye. I have some business in Wendell, if you must know. light, there must also be dark. So, the thieves of Navarro lived in the shadows of the world. Going in. Get ready. Taking candy from a baby. Ah, a thief! No, not my money! <sighs> you had to make this complicated. Now that I have your undivided attention, let me give you some advice. You've made a killing swindling the people living hand to mouth in this town. Now's your chance to put yourself in their shoes! Maybe you'll think twice about your dirty business practices now that you're the one who's lost all his money, huh? You should thank me, really. That's rich, coming from a common thief. How dare you! <laughs> Touché. But something tells me you'll get over it. Farewell. Try breaking a sweat with an honest day's work for a change.
Nidvarland thieves were known to sweep through towns, stealing ill-gotten goods from the undeserving rich. While their leader, Flamecon, held down the remote desert fortress in the sand dunes. Return from the raid, sir. Well done. Oh, you haven't heard. Lord Fla Forgive me. King Flamecon has disbanded the Thieves' Guild and declared Navarre an independent nation under his rule. We're wasting away in this forsaken desert. Mana power is shifting. And threatening our place in the world, our people's resources, like the waters of the oasis, are drying up. We'll lay siege to the kingdom of Laurent in the north and create the Navarre Nation. Now, His Majesty has a meeting to attend, so you just sit. Flamecon thinking. He's never been ashamed of our thievery before. How can we give up our entire livelihood, our creed? And for what? <sighs> what is going on? And there's something strange about that, Isabella. I know she saved the Lord's life when he was stranded in the desert, but making her second in command? What's her angle? I'm sure my father has the people's interests at heart, Hawkeye. If the wells we all depend on go dry, we can't live here forever. So... But a king? Flamecon hates monarchies. So now we're going to bleed the citizens of our new nation dry to fill the king's pockets just like our enemies do? How will we be any different from them? Stop insulting my father! Oh, what? Did you want to play the part of the pretty little princess, Jessica? Stop!
Hawkeye, there's something bothering me. By now I'm sure you've heard about the invasion of Laron. Have you noticed anything strange about my father lately? That's exactly what I thought. We two have grown up together here in the fortress, so I knew you must have noticed it as well. I knew it. He hasn't truly been himself since he went missing in the dunes last month. Fortunately, that newcomer Isabella found him before he... But I swear, nothing has been the same since. If my hunch is correct, Isabella may be at the root of the problem. But no more. I will expose her for the evildoer she is. Get me a break, Eagle. Don't rush on ahead. Something's got me on edge. I better go after him. Around them. I'll go to the other side. Understood. Do pass on my message. Hold, fiend! We have you now. Whom have you snuck into the fortress? And what have you done to my father? We'll continue when pests are taken care of. I leave them to you. <laughs> oh! You children will find out there are things better left unseen in the world. But no matter. I will have you forget my little secret. Just stop manipulating my father! I'll throw you out of this fortress myself! <laughs> what an innocent babe. It hurts. What's wrong? You have to run, Hawkeye. Must uh, eliminate Hawkeye. Must be destroyed. No, this isn't you, Eagle. Fight it. Oh dear. He can't hear you now. What will you do? Attack your friend or perish on his blade? Yeah. 
Nico, stop this! I don't want to fight you! did the right thing. Huh. Still alive, I see. Oh. Allow me to fix that. Child. <gasps> Someone, come quick! The man's a murderer! What's the problem? No! Not Eagle! How could you? Don't move! Murder is no laughing matter. Your execution date is being decided. I suggest you reflect on your crimes. <laughs> oh, best be quiet, dear. If you tell anyone, your friend Jessica's life is forfeit. What have you done to her? Oh, I just gave her a cursed little present, if you will. If you step out of line, you may not like the consequences. <laughs> me out! Versus. Is someone there? Anyone? Jessica! My brother... Eagle... He... They're saying you did it! But that can't be! No one was closer to my brother than you! You couldn't have! So tell me... Who killed my brother? I... Talk? And her, and her life, life is forfeit. forfeit. Please... Tell me... Who was it? <laughs> Hawkeye! Why won't you say anything? No... It couldn't be... But you... And Eagle? <gasps> Jessica! Believe Mew! I know Mew were framed! Come on! We need to get away from here as soon as possible! Ah! Now quick! Through this hole! Isabella will pay, but I can't stick around Navarro any longer. Her as and Mew mentioned, I think it's the legendary Choker of Death. If the stories are true, 
Once Mew put it on, Mew can never take it off. And if Isabella dies, Jessica will die with her. But the Priest of Light in Holy City Wendell might have some leads. Mew should leave Navarro and find the Priest. <laughs> I'll take care of things here. What? Okay. I trust you, Niccolo. Take care of Jessica while I'm gone. Hey, you take care of me yourself. Don't worry, I'll look after Jessica. The prisoner is loose! Stop him! I swear on my life that I won't let anything happen to Jessica. I have to leave now, but... I will be back to avenge your death, dearest friend. And I will save your sister. Jessica, you have to stay safe until I return. Please be safe. Hawkeye, pained by the loss of his dear friend, set off for Wendell to find a way to lift Jessica's curse. believer in chance. There's a reason we've crossed paths. I'll come with you to Wendell. Oh, so impatient. Give me a moment. I'll get rid of the barrier. You should be fine now.
play yourself, yes? Being a thief isn't exactly the safest profession in the world. I'm handy in a fight. Yes, we will work well together. Been on my own a long time. It's good to have a... a companion.
okay? On it! Too bad. Okay, leave it to me. Good care of that. for the temple. I didn't want anything to happen to Heath. By a horrible twist of fate, <laughs> a creepy looking... <laughs> I got a little walk and fell down. <laughs> if you hadn't been there, it would have been good night, Charlotte. Ah. Uh. Fine. You can come with. Oh, you want to see Grandpa? Why didn't you say so? You didn't know it, but you helped your chances. I'm actually the granddaughter of the priest, but you know, Wendell isn't far from here. You might need my help getting there, but I don't buy bye. -bye. Can she make it to Wendell alone? You oh. wish you'd never cross paths with us. Anyone got a light? You wish you'd never cross paths with us.
Bring Carl back. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking me here. Hurry, we need to request an audience with his eminence. Except the goddess of man. Priest! Carl! Bring Carl back! Friend! He's my only friend! Carl! The wolf pup! What is your name, son? I see. Hmm. Listen well, Kevin. The gift of life comes with the inevitability of death. Nothing can replace a life lost, nor bring back a soul who is no longer with us. That is why the gift is so precious. But death is simply how new life begins. Though Carl cannot return to his previous life, his soul will live on in your heart. Do you understand? But... Carl... He's... Keep the memory of him alive in your heart, young one. And someday, Carl may be reborn into your life again. Do not get... No! This... This is the King's fault! Won't forgive him for what he did! To Carl! Your Eminence, what do you know about the Choker of Death? How can I stop the curse? I need to save Jessica. Choker of Death? But that's a forbidden and ancient magic. How did this come to be? Here's the story. I'm certain that Isabella is not what she seems. Hawkeye, my apologies. But I do not know how to lift a curse so ancient and evil. Only the goddess of mana can do that. Only the mana goddess? That can't be. What am I supposed to do now? Wait! I have something to say. Your evidence. Please listen. I have come from the Sanctuary of Mana to tell you that the Mana Tree is withering. Mana power grows weaker by the day. Withering? But without the Mana Tree, the seals on the Mana Stones will break. The Benevidons will be released into the world. Benev... Blavent... What? You're acting like this doesn't affect you. You've been chosen by fairy. This means that you alone can retrieve the Sword of Mana from the Sanctuary. 
What? Fairy? What's he talking about? I'm sorry. With the mana in the world so depleted, a fairy can't leave the sanctuary for long without a host. If I hadn't found you, he wouldn't have made it. But fairy's better now, yeah? We made it to Wendell. You do not need me anymore, so go to the old man instead. Would that I were able to bear your burden. However, once a fairy finds a host, they are bound to them for their whole life. Only death can part them. Huh? Don't need a mana sword. I need revenge on the one who hurt Carl. Can't get distracted. Kevin. I'm sure you already know you don't have the strength to defeat the King of Ferolia. Not with your power right now. But, with the Sword of Mana, you would. What? Stronger than the King? Really? But, what is the Sword of Mana? The Sword of Mana is the embodiment of the ancient power of Mana. Guiding force of spirits. It is an alternate form of the golden wand used to create the world itself. The one who holds the mana sword gains awesome power. The sword lies in the roots of the mana tree, waiting. Before the mana tree withers completely, you must reclaim the sword and awaken the goddess of mana once more. She alone can bring peace to the realm and grant your wish. I... get that sword. I can defeat the king? Done! Where is the... Uh, um... Sanctuary of Mana. I am so sorry. But with Mana so depleted, I don't have enough power to open the portal to the Sanctuary. Not by myself. Throughout the world are eight points of Mana energy. Mana stones. Sealing away the fearsome Benevidons. If you activate the Mana stones, the portal connecting our world to the Sanctuary of Mana should appear. Through that portal is the Sanctuary. However, you should know that the energy inside the Eight Mana Stones was sealed on purpose as the Mana Goddess began her slumber. What do I do? In ages past, there once was an ancient spell used to control the energy from the Mana Stones and bend it to the user's will. However, countries refused to allow each other any control of the spell and use of the Mana Stones. The war that followed caused unspeakable damage. It was nearly as destructive as the sealed Benevidons. The survivors cursed the magic to avoid future tragedy and forbade anyone from using it. Now the life of any person who uses the spell will be forfeit. There is no longer anyone alive who knows how to work this cursed spell. No hope? There may be one way borrow the powers of the elemental spirits that reside near the mana stones instead, I can combine their powers with what remains of mine to open the portal for everyone. Splendid! This is a relief. If you wish to find a mana stone, I've heard many say that the light stone is in Cascade Cavern, guarded by the elemental Lumina. It is the cavern you pass through in order to reach here. Take Fairy, 
With what remains of her power, she can help you find Lumina in the cavern. See if you may borrow his light powers. Fairy, answer me this. If I go with you, I can save Jessica? Of course. The goddess of mana should be able to undo any magical curse once she reawakens. She can definitely help. All right, then I'm in. Let's see this through. Welcome, lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. We'll use this. Looks useful. <laughs> Come again. of where's to browse. Nice! I have an eye for quality. <laughs> Come again.
welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Do come again. Do come again. Do come again. <laughs> come again. of your own. I have a favor to ask. I gotta find... No. Too little for a... Little, huh? Why do people always assume I'm a baby? I'm 15 years old. Got it? 15... Huh? But... Does not matter. You can't come. Now go home. Priest was worried about you. Just won't wait about Heath. Please. I really can't come with you. Oh, fine. You are so stubborn. And mean. You, you, you meanie. this for Jessica's sake.
There's mana power coming from the waterfall. See that strange hole? Further up. I bet Lumina is in there. All of us, together! <laughs> Too bad. Such weak tar targets, but all of us together. <laughs> 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 Until next time.
take point and we just get to you. Of course. 
is that? Heyo! Looking for Lumina? That'd be me! Nice to meet ya! A pleasure! And thanks for releasing me from the belly of that full metal meanie, am I right? <sighs> Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't come? <sighs> Fairy filled me in on your plight while you were fighting. Telepathy's great, huh? Just like Fairy, we elementals need mana to live. I'll help however I can to make sure we save the mana of the world. Lumina, where is the light stone? It's straight up from here, deep within the old ruins. But you can't exactly get there from here. Oh, no, 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 no. It's safe, though. For now, at least. It's so unstable. It seems like the Benevidon could be unsealed at any minute. We gotta get the rest of the elementals on board and open the portal to the sanctuary! Huh? A crack? Here. Wait. Maybe a shortcut. Thanks for taking down the cavern barrier. 
saved us some trouble. <laughs> now, nothing's stopping us from invading Wendell. This is a present to show our appreciation. No! <laughs> Let's get going. Do. 